Hello, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to everybody and welcome back to Let's Build the World. Wow. And welcome to part four of Brindleton House. We are furnishing the dining room and the library area today. Um, that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. So I reckon there's one more part after this. So that will probably be out next week. Now, as I said yesterday, the video is coming this week. I got them confused a bit. Tomorrow is going to be Design Me Devon. And then that Build Generator Challenge is going to be on the Friday instead. I just got me, me days mixed up yesterday. So yes, that's all I need to say. Let's get into game and let's finish the downstairs of this house. Okay, my darlings, here we are back at Brindleton House. We're going to complete the downstairs today. Changed a little bit from last time. There was a few of you that were saying, why don't we have a basement? And I was like, that is a really good idea. With a house like this, it would have had a basement, really. Um, a bigger ones would have had a bigger basement with where all the staff quarters would be, the kitchens and whatnot. But a smaller kind of Regency house like this, I'm going to say just had a bit more of a smaller basement. So that's what I've done. Now, this would have been, back in the day, this is where the butler um, and maybe a servant would have lived. Maybe the butler would have had a separate room, so I might even do another little bedroom down here. But what we're going to use this for is for Graham's kind of um, antique storage. So this doesn't get used by the butler anymore. I reckon Penelope has had this butler in their fam her family for a very long time. And as soon as their father died, she was like, right, you can move up into the main house. So the butler lives up in the main house now, rather than down in the dingy little basement, which is what this is going to be. But I think what we're going to do, just for get um, storyline purposes, we'll make this, as I said, into Graham's kind of antique storage. I'm going to change the layout a little bit. I think this is a little bit too thin to be able to get some good sized antiques down here. So just for realism purposes, that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are, but we're not furnishing that yet either. So today, as I said, concentrating on the little mini sort of library area here, the parlor. I had to change the floor shape here slightly and pull the wall in one here, um, which wasn't too bad. It just meant I had to change the door from the bathroom and put it on this bit instead. Um, and we're also doing this room here, obviously, as well, which is going to be the dining room, I think. That is where we're going to start today. So we do need a very big posh table. I really wish we had some lovely um, tables with tablecloths on them. I know we've got some like this, but I just don't, uh, I just don't like it. And I know we've got that other one from Wedding Stories with the kind of runner. That's the one I'm hoping to use today, but I'm unsure if it's going to look right in this room. We're going to have a little goosey gander together and sort of see. Um, I think it's a little bit, I don't know. I think it might be a little bit too rustic looking for the style. Yeah, it's a little bit too rustic looking. Um, so we can't use that. So let me have a pander on through and see what we can find. This was the best I could find to suit the style that we're going for. And we're going to keep the furniture dark like we kind of did in here with the sort of like white accent walls and stuff and accents of white everywhere. But we'll keep the actual furniture dark and we're going to use the um, vampire chairs as well in this neutral tone. I just think it would suit this table quite nicely. Quite nicely indeed and I think Penelope would be absolutely made up of it. I reckon she likes to host um, host some lovely dinner parties and whatnot in this place. I really do. She's definitely going to be having a brother. I'm going to be doing a lord. But the lord, he actually lives in Henford on Bagley. So there will be another um, berry cloth. But they will be in another save file. So, yes. Storylines, loves. Storylines. But I do like that. I do like the, how that's come together there. Now, what I really want to do, I want a chandelier in here. But the only problem with that is, is when you do a conservatory, there's nowhere to put roofs. So what I tend to do is do like a beam of some descript. But the only problem with this is there's no middle, like sort of like beam area. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing a couple of beams. Um, maybe just two in the middle, like there. And then hanging a chandelier from one of them. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I might even do. I'm going to try something. Let's try it together. 
Um, let's get the fence going. It doesn't really need to be that thick. Well, that's a lie because we all like it thick. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm absolutely. I'm sorry about that. And for using a voice effect as well. Very naughty of me. Right. And what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do this. Can I criss... Oh, you can't crisscross. Of course you can. Why did I think that you could? I was going to do like a cross moment and then hang a chandelier from that. But we can't. <laughs> so that's put a big old dampener in my knickers, to be honest. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it. That's That's gone. <laughs> we can't do that. I mean, I just... Uh... I don't know what to do here because it's just going to be off center and it's going to piss me off. Uh, I need to think. Okay. The best I can do to satisfy my Virgo needs is to just do one beam. One beam. And it is completely central above the dining table. So it's not central to the room, but it is central to the dining table. Let me get all of this going up here. So that is not going to make me cry too much. I'm kind of happy with that. And I reckon all of the chandeliers were sold when the estate um, was kind of like broken up into parts. They were selling the chandeliers, loves, in the 1920s. And that's why we've gone with a slightly Art Deco vibe when they put Art Deco chandeliers back in. You know, vibes, loves, vibes, storylines, all, all of the above. Thank you. Moving on. So I'm thinking rug. I'm thinking rug. I am. <laughs> what a sentence i'm thinking rug i really am but i always struggle at finding like a a bougie rug um of a bigger size like these are all like quite um modern like they don't really suit the sort of vibe that i want to go for i mean this one would but it's not big enough it's not i could size it up with a tall mod let me see that color oh actually Oh, that could work. Let's size it up with the tool mod. We'll do a 1.2 and see what happens there. Um, 1.2, my love. Oh, that's perfect. Je ne sais quoi. Absolutely. Oh, that's the perfect rug for in here as well. A little bit of a Persian influence, loves. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. Yes. Yes, that's very nice. Okay, so dining room. Don't want massive amounts in here. This is mainly going to be a dining space. Shocking. But I'm thinking some plants. Maybe just a couple of plants in these corners. And maybe just laying the table lovely. Um, with a candelabra and stuff. So let me pull out a few goodies and we'll get, we'll get flopping them about. I'm going a bit overboard. But I think... These would just look great in this room. I haven't used these yet either, so I'm quite looking forward to flopping them in this greenhouse. Rather than doing some plants, why not do some fancy-ass flowers? I reckon she likes to show off of her flowers. Really does. She uses the same um, flowers as the queen, which we will be doing a queen as well once we get to Windenburg. We're going to be doing a royal family um, for this save file. Well, for the big save file. Um, so be on the looks out for that, darlings. Um, but she uses the same um, florist as the queen. That is her claim to fame. She absolutely revels in telling everyone when they come around for a candlelight supper dinner parties. <laughs> like hyacinth bouquet. <laughs> right, a couple of candelabras as well. We'll flop a couple of them in. <laughs> uh, I'm in a weird mood again today, loves. I really am. I think, fingers crossed... My energy is starting to just come back from COVID. I am I'm feeling very optimistic that they are start is starting to come back. And my God, it's taken a while, loves. I have not been right for the past few weeks, um, months even, and I'm just starting to get there. So, oh, hopefully everything will pick back up and I can, yeah, just get on with things, you know. Now I do want to try and put a mirror up on top here. But I will have to take this wall down. I was just checking if there was anything on the wall there. And there's not. So I think we might be able to do it. Not that we've got many landscape mirrors. It always pisses me off that does. Why have we not got many landscape mirrors? Um, I can't use you. No. Let me just see that darker one. 
Oh, actually, that's not too shabby for this room. I'm going to do it. Right, come here. We're going to flop you up, my darling. And I'm going to flop you to about there. Hopefully that's not going to be... I might bring you down just one, actually. Just, just the one. Just the tip. <laughs> um, Yeah, yeah, I think that will work. And then I'm going to put that wall back up now. Put that wall back up. Always baffles me as well why these fireplaces don't have like a snap point on the front of them for like TVs and stuff. Like I, mirrors. Like it baffles me. Absolutely baffles me. Really does. But I like it. I like how that sort of feels and looks. I'm kind of into it. I would have loved to have had like a bit more of like a um a bit of furniture for the kind of crockery should i because you can't see out this window anyway because there's loads of grass in the way oh there's something poking through there as well i can see you don't think i can't yeah i think i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna put a little um plate sort of storage thing here whatever you would call it um where is it again no idea let me find one okay we're gonna use the same one it's what I've used in here. Because I have used one here as well. So there is crockery and stuff in there. It's called a hutch for some reason. No idea. No idea. I don't think they're called hutches in the UK. Does anybody know what they would be called? Cabinet? Would we call it a cabinet? Probably we would, wouldn't they? Um, but hutch is obviously the American way of saying it. Um, well, there we go. Yeah, I think that one will do. Oh, I don't really like the colour. Hang on a second. Oh, here we go. That's why. That's better, yes. A little bit flatter. Not much difference, but it makes me moist. And that is all that matters. A uh, couple of sconces in here, darlings. couple of sconces. We're going to go for these ones. The buttercup sconce. <laughs> that sounds like a um, Tory name, actually. I bet there's someone out there called but Butternut Squat Sconce. <laughs> buttercup, sorry, not Butternut. <laughs> Well, you know, in for a penny, in for a pounding, to be honest. Yeah, we'll flop one there and one there. They seem a little bit too squeezed in. Um, I'm going to keep it that way, though, because I can't move this doorway. Uh, and I'm going to do a couple on this side, I think. I think I'm going to do one there and also one there. Is that too high? Yeah, I've put it up too high. Let's bring you down one more, my love. Come on down. Come on down, you've won. Yes, I'm into that. I'm into that. Let's have a look at some. Oh, look at that light in there. Oh, we're looking for a thumbnail, darlings. Looking for a thumbnail. Oh, God, I've gone downstairs. Um, Page up. Where am I going? <laughs> we're looking for a thumbnail. I mean, that could be a nice thumbnail. Let's get some of those flowers in. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I think that's going to be a vibe, loves. Absolute vibe. Okay, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Moving on to the little parlour slash library. So, here we go. Now, what I've did here, I just didn't like the shape of the toilet. And I'm literally just going to do a toilet downstairs. So, it's literally going to be a downstairs loo and sink. So, we don't need to worry too much about fitting in a shower and stuff here. I just think that f shape flows a bit better in here. Apart from you, you can go to absolute hell. Thank you. Um... There we go. Let's put that flooring right. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, we've, we're just going to do a smaller toilet down here. We'll, and we'll furnish that today. I'm going to treat you. I'm going to absolutely treat you to a, a toilet bit of furnishing. You know, don't say I don't ever do anything for you. All right. <laughs> um, oh, rather excitingly. Um, I've put all of the finishing touches to my next vlog. So I, I cannot wait to to go where we're going i cannot wait to go you lot are gonna absolutely love it it's one of my favorite places in devon um it's a bit difficult to get to i'm gonna have to get a train and a taxi because there is no direct train route to where i'm going little clue for you there i'm not telling you where i'm going um but and we're also staying in a hotel this time as well right on the coastline um so very excited very very excited uh i go away on the 12th of may i think it is 12th of may which is a thursday is that the right date 
Yes, it is. 12th of May, I just went and checked. <laughs> 12th of May uh, until the Saturday. And I've chosen those days, the Thursday instead, because this place gets quite busy. So I'm trying to miss out on the touristy visitors um, to this place. I uh, can't wait to show you. Cannot wait. And we're definitely going to get, we definitely need a hotel in Brinston Bay. And I've got my idea. And that's why I'm staying in this hotel, because I think this hotel would really, really work in Brinston Bay. Yes, it would. Anyway, moving on. Well, what am I doing? <laughs> Chatting shit, Aiden. That's what you're doing. Um, Yeah, I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you here. I've, I'm feeling in this room a little um, chaise long moment. I really am. Can we? I mean, I don't mind mixing these tones up, but no, I'm going to keep it that color, actually. I'm going to keep it this color. Another little writing desk moment. I might actually put a little laptop in here. Yeah. Just so she stays up with the times. I mean, she can go for a quite expensive laptop. So that's what we're going to do. She, oh, I forget about this bloody desk. They hang off the edge, don't they? Oh, I don't care. We're just going to do it. I love this desk, but they, that was a definite um, moment that they forgot about that. The place setting. The place setting? Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, they definitely overlooked that, didn't they? When they designed this desk. Silly bums. Uh, we're going to do one of you as well. What chair did I put in on that one? It was a bit more... Yeah, it was a bit more fancy because it's the living room. But I reckon um, Graham uses this room quite a bit as well for his work. Sourcing um, antiques and whatnot. So that's what we're going to we're gonna make apparent. I'm feeling on this desk here that lovely lamp. Uh, that I really love as well. I would love one of these lamps. Uh, where are you, my love? There. Nope. 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 There you are. <laughs> Found it. I would love one of these lamps with the little, like, pulley. Is this one got a pull? Yeah, it's got a little pull string on it. I would really love one of them. I really would. I really, really would. I very much would. Um, I think that's a bit too gold. I think we're going to go a bit more paler with it. Yeah, that's nice. Flowers, fresh flowers in here. Fresh flowers, please. Uh, oh. Eh, it's not fancy enough. It needs to be fancier than that. So I might go down to base game territory and flop in those rose roses. These ones. We use that one there. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm absolutely feeling that. Yes, that's very nice, that is. Do enjoy it. I'm thinking little window bay seat here. I think we need to go into comfort miscellaneous, don't we? Yeah, one of these. Um, Probably not you. More along the lines of you. And I might even bring a bit of blue in here, but keep the wood dark. Yeah, because this room's just a bit slightly darker. Uh, so it might, they might not be able to use this bookcase. They should be able to. Yeah, I'm going to flop that down to there. Just a little splash of blue in here, I think, would work quite nicely. And a rug. Probably a rug in this room as well. Uh, we're going to do a chaise, aren't we? So I'm going to flop a chaise in. Obviously, I have to go down to vampires. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, that blue is just off. Well, it's not just off. It's a lot off. <sighs> I'm going to go neutral. We'll go neutral with the chaise then bit darker please yeah like that yeah that will do that's a shame it's almost making me want to put that window seat a bit more neutral now i've done that though i don't know i don't know let me see what rug we can find i might be able to tie it in with the rug with a little bit more of a splash of blue with the rug we could i couldn't tie that blue in well i couldn't tie the blue in well but what i've done is just added a little bit more gold into this room wondering if i could put that a bit more gold now um, or is that two gold? Oh, actually. Oh, no, that works. That works. So what I've done is use the vampire. Yeah, I think it's the vampire kind of runner rug. Size them up. Put that down there. Change that to neutral. Change the curtains and the light to a little bit more gold. Excuse me, nearly burped. Um, <laughs> uh, so, and I booped my mic as well. Uh, and I just think that's nice. I think that is absolutely perfect. I think what this room is screaming out for is an absolute portrait on the wall. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a nice little portrait up on the wall. 
Um, oh, yes, you might work actually in here. Oh, yes. Yes, we're going to do you. I'm going to flop you to there. And I'm also going to do that. Um, this one here. The collection here. I might... Can I size you up as well? Oh, yes, that looks fine. I thought that was going to look weird, but it doesn't. Oh, I'm for that. And I'm thinking sconces, loves. Absolute sconces. Let's flop them around. Um, I might have to do them either side here and here. Uh, so I'm going to have to move these paintings slightly. But that doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to have to flop you in a little bit more like that. The only problem is you get that weird glitch behind it, but... We're just going to oversee it. We're going to overlook it. It's going to be great. Um, That wood tone still not matching in properly. I'm going to do those instead. <laughs> I'm going to do those instead. Darken the wood down. Yes. Yes, that's better. I'm into it. I'm absolutely into it. I might even whiff all this across like that. And flop in another sconce over here just the one because it won't match up on the other side um that should be fine oh yes i'm into it absolutely into it and do you know what i'm oh do you know what i'm gonna try and squeeze in here just for files and whatnot for graham's business i'm gonna try and flop in one of these um there we go oh it fits like an absolute dream oh it does Oh, with a posh vase on top. Can I just type in vase, vase, vase? <laughs> oh, how very um, Nigella Lawson of me. <laughs> the microwave. <laughs> I piss. I still piss myself at that. Yeah, we'll use this one, but I'm going to size it down one. Uh, and then I'm going to whiffle it up and hope that it's not floating. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yes. Well, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how that's turned out. I very much am. Very much am happy. Okay, and I did promise you we're going to furnish the toilet together, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat, you are. In for an absolute treat. We're going to change that light. We're going to put a chandelier in here. Why not, you know? Why? Oh, no, in fact, let's keep that. And then put the chandelier on top. I'm going to size you down though, my love. Can't see what I'm doing here. What am I pressing? I'm pressing P. <laughs> no idea. No idea why. Uh, there we go. Will that door hit it on the way in? Let's hope it doesn't. I reckon it might. So I'm going to whiffle you up a little bit more that way. Like that. Yeah, the door will clear that, darlings. And then I'm going to flop in a toilet. We're going to use those old-fashioned toilets from... Um, oh, maybe not actually. Maybe we could go for something really bougie like this. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, yes, especially for the guests. 5,000 for a toilet. I mean, that's a bargain if you ask, if you ask me. An absolute bargain. And how much was that? 900. Right, there we go. Beautiful. A little mirror up here as well. We're going to go for a very... Oh, yeah, we can use you and... Oh, that's perfect. We'll flop that one to there. We'll do a little toilet roll here as well. We're going to flop you onto that side, my dear. Um, I'm not even going to put a blind there. No, I'm not going to do it. Absolutely not going to do it. I mean, the door opens there, so I can't really put anything there either. But that's looking fine. That's looking fine. And then I can use you round about there. Oh, how stunning. <laughs> it's a little bit much, isn't it? But we're going to go for it anyway. just want to move that in a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. Okay, well, the bottom floor is done. The bottom floor is done. Next time, next week, we'll be back. We're going to be up here furnishing this. So let me just do a little reminder. This is going to be the butler's area here. Um, well, this is going to be the master suite. I am going to be making an ensuite bathroom in the master suite. Um, so I'm going to change this floor plan a little bit. Uh, this is going to be a spare room. Oh, no, this is going to be the spare room. And this is going to be a main bathroom. So I'm going to get these two furnished next time. And then we'll do both of these together for the last part. But, but it's coming along, darlings, isn't it? Brinterton House is coming along. Let's get a good 
Oh, isn't... Oh, yes. Oh, how beautiful. What a view. What a view. But yeah, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm live on Twitch tonight, 7pm. We're playing The Wolf Among Us for the first time ever. And I'm having such a good time of it. There is a right daddy of a character that we are all getting moist over on stream if you do want to join us. Um, but if not, I'll see you tomorrow for Design Me Devon. Goodbye.